to beautiful Akron. They were off and running first thing this morning at 7 a.m. Conference play. Quick throw to the right side. They set up the screen, and uh, they get a few yards. It's these players in their pads as the afternoon goes on. Buffalo going empty again. This is Cook to the near side before he's wrangled out of the second time today. That's right around the corner. And having quite the season, he's a touchdown maker. Well, they have used 12 different fair catch that football. And so the good news for Buffalo, even though the drive stalls, they pinned the zips way deep in their territory. We'll see how Akron deals in with only one pass on the season. Uh, and if you know that, and he's a primarily a running quarterback, he has come in throughout the first four games at various times. Series started, and now he's on the field. Boy, the Bulls were all over it. That time, Joe Andreessen once again. Flips out, he gets lost by the defense, and it's an easy flip from DJ Irons. First receiving touchdown for Drake Anderson this year, and it's a big one for the Arizona Tramp, but a touchdown tire. And, you know, Coach Moorhead doesn't want to get outside of who this team is. He wants them to be tough. He wants them to be gritty, just like the beat-up tire. Although I saw one of those tires. I'm not sure I'm putting that on my car, Anthony. Tell you what, Blake Hester with a great play. There's Blake Hester. Here at Akron, here on ESPN. How about the explosiveness of Jackson off the edge? There's one way to stop good running backs. That's to get to them before they get started. And it'll be a simple handoff, but boy, is it going to be effective. But a nice wrap-up tech. Well, it's been five in a row for Buffalo. They have outscored Akron big time in those games. Has to be happy that Morrow got his hand on the ball because that was drift on quarterback from the time that Cole Snyder actually started to slip. Who comes and who goes? Quick screen, Daryl Harding Jr. And a shoestring tackle made by LaVeya. It's going to be real. People around Northeast Ohio come out and take part. First thing to get a run. DJ Irons taking a big hit there after he released the football by Red Murdoch. Gathings is finding the soft spots over the middle, settling. DJ Irons going through his progressions and finding him, and right now the passing game is clicking on all cylinders. Words at another first down. That tackle, Red Murdoch, is there. Anthony, I'm looking to see if, no pun intended, blew out a tire there, going out, out of bounds to DJ Irons. But he was looking to take that shot, Anthony. They had two vertical routes, a post and a... Might be a free play for Akron, Irons. That ball incomplete off the hands of Adrian Norton. Had some heat. First two games this year. That time a little over anxious coming off the edge. Fakes the pitch and runs down to the 11 yard. Just squeezing the life out of this half. And I'm sure Coach Moorhead would like to have the final possession of the half. You got to come away with points though. Yes. For the shoreman of Avon Lake on the west side of Cleveland. And a true freshman here getting an opportunity where you perform like this. At least he used to be. Great game day atmosphere. Welcome back. We are moments away from the second half of the kickoff between Akron and Buffalo, who is near and dear to your heart, and a former head coach of Akron, Jim Dennison. Well, no question that I got my coaching start right here at the University of Akron. It was all because of Jim Dennison. It stuck with you. You know, Coach Dennison was the first person I ever worked for. You know, I played for my dad, who was a Hall of Fame coach and all that, but 
I began my coaching working career. Self at John Carroll. Okay. Um, you know, you were a quarterback at Baldwin Wallace, correct? I was, yep. Uh, how, how were those battles back then? Was it still the, the, the game for the rock and the rivalry that it is today? I was there. That was a good football game. You bet. I mean, it, did, it wasn't, it didn't turn out the way the it 1970s didn't. game did right. back. Right, it did you know? not, but uh, it was a good ball game. I don't think people realize. Here at Akron today and seeing Coach Dennison, I saw Coach Jim, or Jack Beidelman, who was on our staff, is here, and Jimmy Meyer is here, and so many of the former players that we in Oregon and, and all the rest, and, and uh, Joe will do a great job. What's going to be interesting, whether it's Akron or anyone else, is who's going to handle... All right, welcome back, Cole Snyder. And coaches and you know all that stuff and and uh, so many of them have had fun talking about that with their children and their wives and their companies and you're Ohio through and through you were known for guys like Dustin Fox recruiting Ohio kids right. uh, and and then you had to develop into a culture but Ohio for Ohio State to be good especially to be good late in November when they're playing that team up north and so we wanted people uh, you know, Cole Snyder only has 60 yards, and for a guy who is almost at a thousand already, that is below average. However, cool. or being in the game, you know, uh, catching, running, here he is again. Yeah, he set up the screen. A nice tackle. A lot of movement on that Akron defensive front. Barksdale, well, he's brought down, but his momentum might have thrown him past the. Beautiful work by Corey Thomas. Harrity thought he had an opening, but it was wiped out in a hurry. Draw up the middle of the field, inching closer to a first down, and you're doing mostly special teams. <laughs> well, college game's hard, my friend. A scramble here, taking the contact and getting closer to... Another big time of possession drive for Buffalo. And they'll hand it off. Cook. And he is swallowed up right around the line of scrimmage. K.J. Martin, the first... Two from this range. Good placement. It's up. It's good. Ty. Buffalo was down 35-7 and came back with 38 points against Louisiana. Irons. Boy, Buffalo took away that first read, and so they get what they could. Really stretch your defense and make you make choices. That time, Buffalo did a nice job. It's T.J. Banks, the tight end. Boy, he was met. Rolling out to the right. And now heading up field, Irons with a crease, and he's out to the 47-yard line. Fakes the run and instead dumps it off. Lorenzo Lingard, a brilliant play as it pass gets himself out of here. Snyder of throws go it deep, left side. It looks like it's caught, waiting for the signal. And used to get it done. Number 40 in the center of this defense. And there Cook. he is. Ooh, he got past him. And he has some running room. It's a first down and more before he's finally dragged. And if he would have caught it, Anthony, we're still looking at a one-yard gain, two-yard gain. And this is this is what they need here. This is Lingard. Finally, Lorenzo Lingard. He's in. In all of college football. In all the sport. And here he goes again. So two runs, two first downs by Lorenzo. Desperately is going to need to pick up a few more first downs. Irons with his legs, and that flag comes in, and that ball is loose. They're all alone. Out of the gun, looking left side. Has his receiver caught right near that first down marker, Marilyn Johnson, which spread out once again in terms of the receiver, Snyder. He'll hold it now, rolling out to the right. Getting chased down. Last minute, he... So minute 17, and they'll throw it on first down. Snyder settling in, has his man. It's caught Johnson on the left side. Up here in the fourth quarter. Another throw. Pitch and catch Johnson again. Another throw. Down to the right side. And it looked like a push-off. Booby Curry. Yes. You may see him take a timeout. And it's going to be a run. A delayed draw. And a slippery run for Ron Cook to get some of the yard. And Cook Jr. next to him. Here is overtime. He looks to throw on first down. Flush to the right. It's complete. And even more yards. Cole. 
He is going to look right side over the middle. Incomplete. As McNulty. High snap. The kick. And that temporarily silences the crowd. And we have not seen him since. Second down, undercoupler. Boy, he had no time to throw. He's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Akron. Undercoupler. Boy, running out of time. Delivers into the end zone, but it's in. Snap is down. It's blocked. The Bulls have blocked it and have won the game in overtime. The Bulls have done it on special teams here at OT. Well, they brought heavy pressure, and there's a number of Bulls that were in there. But for the second straight year, Buffalo wins at the last. What transpired here today in Akron as the Bulls and Akron will give it another try here at Info.